carry out the flame test of a solution, uh, you first of all need a metal loop, and we need to make sure that there aren't any traces of any metal ions still present on there. To remove that, we will heat the loop until the flame goes clear. First, we have sodium. In this case, in the form of sodium chloride. The chloride plays no role in this flame test. Bright orange. Next, lithium chloride. Once again, the chloride ion plays no role. Nice red. Next, potassium chloride. Nice lilac purple. Calcium chloride. Brick red. And finally, copper. Green. Now we're going to do the flame tests, but starting with the solids. In order to make the flame test work as effectively as possible, we need to dissolve a small quantity of the solid in water. First of all, sodium chloride. In this version of the flame test, with a small quantity of sodium chloride dissolved in water, we can use the end of a boiling tube that has some cold water in Place the boiling tube into our newly made solution and we see the orange flame. Our next solid is potassium chloride. I like the flame. Next Lithium chloride. Red. Copper sulfate next. Green. And finally, Calcium carbonate. Now you may notice that this hasn't worked. The problem we have here is the calcium carbonate has not dissolved. We will dissolve in hydrochloric acid. Fizzing is carbon dioxide being released as the calcium carbonate reacts with the hydrochloric acid to make calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Yes. Red.